So let's uh, let's pivot. We're we're already there almost. Um, we talk about the fact that you know the concept of outcomes over outputs help p- leaders to create a culture that is both supportive and uh, and you know uh, and and yet helps them a- achieve business results. How do we how do we create that environment for uh, for folks? What are some of the the structures and the pieces that we have to put together to create that? Yeah. So I I think it's important to talk about the fact that, you know, earlier you mentioned that it could be a scary thing. And I think for me for a long time, maybe I was naive, maybe I was just frankly young in my career and I felt like I had something to prove. So I was not vulnerable at open at, at all. I was not open. I didn't lead that way. I felt like I had to have a persona. I had to um, have a very strong presence and that couldn't coexist with vulnerability. And that has changed over time because I have learned that you can lead a very high performing, high functioning, results driven, goal oriented team and still be <laughs> true to yourself and still be open and still be honest and still be transparent. So I personally like to do that by focusing on what you have just described. We focus on outcomes versus outputs. So an output could be something like, and again, this is just my function. So I'm an, a senior vice president of marketing communications. So my output from a team member could say, hey, we just increased uh, website traffic by 25% this quarter. That's great. That's great. We have 25% more eyeballs on the website. But what did that result in? Have we seen an uptick in our leads? Have we seen an uptick in expansion within existing customers? Have we seen, um, you know, an increased sales funnel, sales pipeline? So I like to look at these kind of bigger impact areas Mm -hmm. of outcomes versus just the very tactical granular outputs. Um, Mm -hmm. And so when we look at outcomes, they speak for themselves. And that's how you, in my opinion, can lead your teams with trust, with flexibility that we talked about earlier. So some of the ways that you can measure outcomes versus outputs is you can measure the specific success, right? So the failure or success of a process or a project. Mm -hmm. um, And then you can basically iterate and improve upon it once you're able to measure it. Because if it didn't, if you can't measure it, it didn't happen. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, And then it also encourages some innovation, right? It it sparks new ways of thinking, new approaches, new solutions um, to think about the various challenges and problems that we have as business leaders. And so when we analyze the outcomes versus just the outputs, we can really hone in and identify those new opportunities to improve our businesses, our functions, and then even our business overall. And then I think it also gives us a very clear understanding of the Um, impact of our actions. And so then we can really have stronger, more confident decision-making as leaders and executives. 